With more people fully vaccinated, many are eyeing up the end of wearing face masks, both indoors and outside. Officials from the local, state, and national levels have addressed potential timelines and guidance. WBRE, WYOU Eyewitness News reporter Kevin Hayes joins us live this morning with the details. Good morning, Kevin. Well, good morning, Sean and Kelly. You know, these things have been an absolute pain for some people for more than a year, but we've also seen some of the benefits. Now, when you take a look at it, people out and about has become commonplace for them to be masked up, but again, that was mandated. The Governor Tom Wolf announced last week that once we hit 70% vaccination, those mandates go away. Having checked in with a slew of health professionals from different parts of our region and double checked the the CDC numbers this past flu season had the lowest infection rate since 2005. Many allergy symptoms have been able to be kept in check. And the top infectious disease doc in the country says keeping the masks at least seasonally, well, that may not be a bad idea. I think people have gotten used to the fact that wearing masks clearly, if you look at the data, diminishes respiratory diseases. We've had practically a non-existent flu season this year merely because people were doing the kinds of public health things that were directed predominantly against COVID-19. Now, as we eye the end of the worst of this global pandemic here in the U.S., some of the mask wearing habits may stick around. Talking with some of those who were initially reluctant to get vaccinated, it's been a major motivator to get their shots to leave the masks behind. Of course, some people will be holding on to them as we move on into what they hope would be a post-COVID world. Reporting live this morning, Kevin Hayes, 2822 Eyewitness News.